Welcome back. I want you to go find page 97 in your math workbook and get your name and number on both sides. Push pause in the video until you find page 97. Okay, on page 97, we are going to be just talking about what they are modeling here. We don't, I don't need you to show the modeling. We're just going to talk about that. And then we're going to work on some problems on page 98 that we'll cut out and put in the bottom of our journal. So, on page 97, this is a really interesting um, page that talks about how to model it. Um, let's say an example. Let me show you here. Um, so they're trying to find the area of a field. These are the numbers, one and two thirds mile long and three fourths mile wide. She knows to find the area. She's got to multiply this by this. Okay. So here's how she talks about it. And we're going to read through this together. Make sure you're following along. So she's going to make an area model to show it. She says, I need to make a rectangle with side lengths, one and two thirds units. So she came here and she made a rectangle. So this is instead of a square, she's making a rectangle. You can see that she did, if you're looking at just the purple, she did one full right there. And then she went, well, she colored all of it, right? She went one full purple. I know that looks blue right now. Oh, you know what? Sorry, it would have been blue. It would have been blue. So she did one full blue square and then she did two thirds. Look at it as going this, I'm gonna show you with my yellow what the one looked like. There's the one that she did. You need to do the same. Then she did two thirds more. So she did this is one third if you look at it going left and right, remember? And this is two thirds. So that's how she showed one and two thirds. And then how she shows, shows three fourths is she has to go the opposite direction. So she just colored a full blank square first. Then she cut it into fourths going up and down because she had to with the three fourths. So then I'm going to use, I guess, my orange. And she did three fourths going all the way down. So she had to do it to this one. I'll stripe it. Okay. There it was one fourth all the way down. Two fourths, three fourths. So the answer is going to be however many have both designs. So in our situation, it has to have the yellow shade, so it's this one, and all of the crosses. So it's going to be this amount, which ends up turning purple for her over here. Does that make sense to everybody? So when you start to break all those up into fourths, if you were to break all those up into fourths, that's how they do this when they get to five thirds. You're going to see that they're going to be the same size piece. So when you get to the final answer, they're going to be these little teeny baby pieces. And that would be four, eight, twelve. It's going to be twelfths that were in a hole. And she had one, two, three, four, five, six. And then she would have had um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So she would end up having a total of 15 twelfths and that's what they get here and they broke it up into here so that's just a little bit of how to look at an area model with fractions greater than one whole it is a little difficult um, but it's something for you to look at and especially challenge yourself with if you have some time let's go ahead and flip though to page 98 and we're gonna be just cutting out um, actually we will yeah, let's just cut out numbers 11, 12, 13, and 14 right now. Um, that's all we're going to be doing. And you do want the blue lines because you don't need any of the space to the side of them. So just doing 11, 12, 13, and 14 is what we're keeping. Keep the orange, sorry, the red or orange numbers on the side. And then... Um, make sure when we read the directions, it says it wants us to express your answer as a whole or mixed number. So we can't just leave it as a crazy fraction, okay? We're going to have to fix that. So I can glue all my story problems in right here on the left. Then I can show all of the work on the right. So take a minute, pause the video, get yours glued in as far left as you can go and get it taped in or glued in as well. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Keep out your yellow and orange so that we can show our work with this yellow or orange. You ready? <sighs> Number 11. Sarah built a pen for her pet rabbit. The pen measures two and five six yards by one and a half yards. What is the area 
Use yellow. What is the area of the pen? Well, to do area, you have to do length times width. So it's going to be 2 and 5, 6. Let's write that as the equation since I asked that. 2 and 5, 6 times 1 and a half equals x. That's the equation. Now we're going to solve for x. So let's come over here and write it. We're going to start up top. 2 and 5 sixths times 1 and 1 half. Let's just use our pencil for this. You're going to have to fix both of them. Multiply then add. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 5 is 17 over 6 times 1 and a half. You should just know this, but if you don't, you can work it out. But one and a half is three halves. Here we go. Extend. Look for relationships. 17 and 6, 17 and 2, 3 and 2, 3 and 6. Remember, they typically cross relationships. So 3 and 6 can both be divided by 3. When you divide 6 by 3, you get 2. So I'm done. 17 times 1 is 17. 2 times 2 is 4. So I have to fix that. Um, now I'm on step three. 17 fourths. Well, four goes into 17 four whole times because that would be 16. So I'm putting the candy bars back together and I get four whole candy bars plus a fourth of another one. So what is the area of the pen? The area is four and a fourth yards. Oh, I didn't put, mine says yads, because I didn't put the R. Yards squared, because it was area. Number 12. At Southtown High School, the number of students in band is one and three-fourths times the number in orchestra. Well, that clue right there, one and three-fourths times, should tell you multiplication. If 56 students are in orchestra, how many are in band? So you have to do one and three-fourths times 56. So it's going to be more than 56 because they have one, they have equal to 56, plus some more. So you're going to do one and three fourths times 56. And that, I'm going to separate out, looks like this. In fact, let's take our orange and separate that out. That looks like this. So you should change one and three fourths, multiply then add. Four times one is four, plus three is seven over four times, how do you fix 56? You throw a one underneath it. Okay, now I extend and look for relationships. Seven and four, seven and one. 56 and one, 56 and four. 56 and four can both be divided by maybe two. I will help you out with this. They can both be divided by 4. Okay? 4 divided by 4 is 1, but 56 divided by 4, we better figure that out. 56 divided by 4. 4 goes into 5 once, and 4 goes into 16 four times. So the answer is 14. So it's not the answer, excuse me, this simplifying would be 14. Because you did 4 divided by 4, is 1. 56 divided by 4 was 14. Okay? Now you have to do 7 times 14. And then it's just over 1. So it's whatever 7 times 14 is. So I'm going to come right here. 14 times 7. 98. And what is 98 over 1 equal? Just 98. I didn't circle that one up there. My bad. Let's circle the answers in yellow. Um, something I want to make sure we do, though, is write the equation. So you come over here. The equation would be 1 and 3 fourths times 56 equals x. So how many are in band? There are 98 students in band. Period. All right, number 13. I'm trying to fit all of these in this space. Number 13, let's try to split this up and do number 13 right in there and number 14 down here. So number 13, a bucket holds two and three fourths gallons of water. The bucket is five eighths full. How much water is in the bucket? So five eighths of that size bucket is full. So you're gonna do five eighths 
times 2 and 3 fourths. Well, 5 eighths is going to end up just staying the same. But you're going to have to change 2 and 3 fourths. Multiply then add. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11 over 4. And 5 eighths stays the same. Okay, I'm on step two. Connect. Five and eight, nope. Five and four, no. Eleven and four, no. Eleven and eight, no. Uh, yeah, let me make sure I did that right. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, no relationships here. Super interesting. So I just multiply straight across. Five times eleven is fifty-five. Eight times four is thirty-two. So then you just have to figure out how many times will 32 go into 55? Well, it can't go twice because that would be doubled. That would be 64. So it has to just be one full time, which means you have to do 55 minus 32 pieces. So you'd get 23 pieces left. 23 over 32. That seems like a crazy answer. So I'm going to circle it, but I'm going to go check it. So 5 eighths stays the same. 2 and 3 fourths. Multiply then add. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11 over 4. I multiplied because there were no relationships. 5 times 11 is 55. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 goes in there once. And when I subtracted 32 away from it, I got 23. So it's right. 1 and 23 30 seconds. Is that is crazy. So the equation is 5 eighths times 2 and 3 fourths equals x. So how much water is in the bucket? 1, 23, 32 gallons are in the bucket. That was a crazy problem. All right, last one, and then we will be done with journal. Jacob's favorite movie. Ah, oh, that's my nephew's name, Jacob. Oh, and this name, Sarah, was my best friend when I was a kid growing up. She lived right next door to me. Pretty cool. All right. Well, hope you remember those fun facts. Number 14. Jacob's favorite movie is one and five, six hours long. He says he has watched the movie five and a half times. If that is true, how many hours has Jacob spent watching the movie? So the equation is one and five, six times five and a half equals x. So let's figure it out. 1 and 5, 6 times 5 and a half. You're going to have to change both of them. I'm going to, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own and see if you get the same answer as me. If you're really struggling or need some help, stay with me. Otherwise, pause it and then check. All right, multiply the add. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11, over 6, because the denominator is tough and it stays. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, over 2, because the denominator is tough and it stays. So I have 11 6 times 11 halves. I'm going to extend the bar, look for relationships. 11 6, nope. 11 2, no. 11 2, no. 11 6, no. So you just got to go with it. We know 11 times 11 is 121. We know 6 times 2 is 12. So now you have to think about how many times will 12 go in to 121? Well, what's 12 times 10? It's 120. So it's got to be 10 times, and that would be take away 120. So then you have one tiny thing left, 1 and 1, 12. So how many hours did Jacob spend watching the movie? 10 hours. So it's 10 and 1 12th hours. And I am going to offer a stamp to anyone who can figure out how many minutes that is. It's 10 hours and how many minutes. So it's 10 hours and 1 12th of an hour. But how many minutes is 1 12th of an hour? If you can write that on a piece of paper and give it to me at recess, it has to be today. Um, I will, it has to be at your recess too, not lunch. I will give you an extra stamp if you can tell me how many minutes is 1 12th of an hour. Okay, but let's go ahead and write the answer. Jacob spent 
10 and 1 12th hours. Period. All right, that was it, folks. There is no Think Central for today. You are welcome for that. So you just need to pull out your homework and remembering page. And guess what you get to do? All of it. Look at homework. Find each product by first rewriting each mix number. So that's awesome. You are just going to do three sevenths because that one doesn't change. And then you're going to flip and change this. Two times two is four plus one is five over two. You have to do that. You have to first show us what you're going to be doing. Then you can solve it. Okay? So all of those you're going to have to do that. Let's take a look at number six for an example. How do you change 12? You throw one underneath it. So 12 over 1 times, and then you're going to change this one. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11 over 4. Okay? So you're just going to set those all up. In fact, you could do all of that first, and then you're going to go and do the second step where you simplify first and then solve. 9, 10, and 11, you got this. I know you can do it. Take your time on it and write them in complete sentences. You don't have to solve, put an equation. It doesn't say to put the equation. You just get to solve it and write your, your answer in a complete sentence because it's a story problem. And then on the remembering side, you do not have to do stretch your thinking, but you do have to do all of the rest of these problems. So 9 through 14 is going to be easy because you're just going to extend the bar, connect them, sorry, and multiply. Well, 2 and 4, 2 fourths is 1 half. And 3 over 3 is just 1. So the answer on this is 1 half. So those are going to go pretty quick if you simplify first. Um, on 7 and 8, it's so easy. You just have to remember what commutative property is and tell me what N stands for. You don't even have to solve it. Just tell me what N stands for. On 1 through 6, you have to stack them up. You must stack them up because none of them have the same denominator. And remember, when you add and subtract fractions, you can't just add them like you can when you multiply straight across. You have to make them have the same denominator. So like number six, you'll stack it up. You'll change this one to be tenths. How did I get from five to ten? I times by two, and four times two is eight. Wiki wiki. Eight tenths plus one tenth equals nine tenths. And I'll just put my answer right there by it circled. All right, you got this. Thanks for joining us for 3.6. There is no Think Central assignment. All you have to do is homework and remembering and make sure your journal's done.